But I mean, okay, 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 okay. You mentioned you mentioned they were not solid tank top on and just yes, that's and, and you can't wear a crop top. What is your yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like and, but and then you yeah, can't get mad if somebody comes at you like that, though. You, what do you mean? Yourself, what do you mean if someone well, comes? If, 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 some, if somebody if somebody uh, makes fun of you or says something about your outfit, you're so you should be so comfortable because of this body positivity, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. But, but Mala, at what? the same time, it's like if you don't want that attention, then don't wear it. Let's put clarity on the beat. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of African Millennials. Hey. Um, so, Chavis, would you like to read the question yeah. for us today? Uh, let's see. All right. Dear AMS, is the body positivity movement only encouraging obesity? I mean, why can't we call a spade a spade? Hmm. Short answer, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start this? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, no, it's not. Um, the body positivity movement was created actually to represent all bodies and mm -hmm. to say that all bodies are beautiful whether they're small big um, disabled even it protects men too because men are not always perfect like men have man boobs and beard guts mm -hmm. and it protects all bodies so you can say whether my body is different mm -hmm. doesn't matter it's still beautiful and it can it still deserves respect from mm -hmm. society uh, yeah, I yeah I agree with you but I, I think that where that comes from is like um, you know, for example, right now Fashion Nova has a Fashion Nova curve line, and they were posting like some, um, you know, some of their models were like morbid, morbidly obese. Like some okay. of their models, they were using really, really big models. How do you models. know someone's morbidly obese by looking at them? Because they're huge. Though. Like if you're five foot four, you should not be six hundred pounds. But your obese has to do with your oh. BMI yeah, yeah, your and your eyes. and your um your the levels in your body, right, the but numbers. But if you're five foot so four, how, how, six hundred pounds. That's, that's not normal. how do you know that how do you know there's six hundred pounds? Because I did some research on BMI that. too. Just, uh, well, yeah. So, we, we so don't just the exact like, number. We don't know the exact number, but just off of site, they were posting, um, you know, uh, very large models, and it was creating like this whole narrative in the comments, and they're just like, "Oh, this is not cute. This is not da da da." And I do, I don't think that the body positive movement is encouraging obesity. But what I do say is that I do believe in health though right so i'm not gonna say that even if you're thick you don't have to be a size two or a size zero or whatever the case may be and i do think and and everyone has their own preference i like thick but i do think that it, there is such thing as okay I accept you, and I think you're beautiful, but I don't think you're healthy. Right, I think right. that's How something that's really... How can you tell someone is healthy from looking they, at them? If they can't break by themselves, like How if they have you... that thing on their face to break, that's unhealthy. And they, if they can't walk down the stairs, if they have to be on a chair to go anywhere, that's unhealthy. Because, number one, heart disease is a thing. Yes. Diabetes is a thing. So we can... From the picture, you can tell when somebody's obese because they are extremely big. I'm not talking about, like, a size 20. I'm talking about, like size 40 if that even exists because they are huge like that's not normal and I don't think we should you know advocate for that because there's so much health issues that comes with it no, I'm not disagreeing with you I think health should be a priority but the issue here is why that it sounds like shaming at that point. It's no. not. No, like, well, well, when, when I'm speaking in when, when I'm speaking personally, I'm thinking I'm talking about like people that I know personally that I'm saying, okay, you're not like these are people that I know that are not healthy because you can be bigger and healthy. You right. can have a healthy yeah. heart. Plus size. Yeah. Absolutely. But I'm talking about when it's to a point where like no, this is not healthy. You're having a hard time walking. Like these are people like that I've known personally that I'm like, yo, you are beautiful, well, but I want case, you to get healthy. In that though. case, I think it's important. I, and I, agree, in that point, I agree with you. And you should have a conversation with them in a loving way. I don't think you should go up to them and say you're, you're obese. Right, right. You mm. should lose weight. I think encouraging because that, people. yeah, encouraging them to get healthy and maybe working with them, showing them, right. go, exactly. taking them to the gym and stuff. Mm. But like Register just saying, because saying, telling someone to lose weight is they're actually gonna gain. <laughs> Wait, it's no, no, yeah, no, 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 you no, no, can't. No. Yeah, it it's, yeah, it's, it's different. No, not everybody. Let me tell you, some people want it the hard way. 
Me, for example, it's not I'm, not, I'm not obese, right? It's not gonna but work. sometimes when I when I start getting um, a little bit, you know, chubby. <clears throat> And you tell me, oh, you're getting trouble. I'm not going to respond to that. But you keep telling me you're constantly, you're fat. But this is what happens. But this is what happens. Wait a second. But this is what happens. When someone tells you in a negative way, you're fat, you need to lose weight, you're obese. It may work, but it's not going to last. You're going to gain that weight back because you didn't lose it in a self-loving manner. If you lose weight when you hate yourself, it comes back. You're right. gonna gain it back. Right. You in order. That's and that's what body positivity is. But, love your body but, through the wellness love, journey. But, it's been statistically proven that if you fat shame somebody, they're gonna gain weight. Um, and then if you do the opposite, and if you encourage them and love on them, they're actually going to work towards a healthier lifestyle. Um, no one, no one really operates in the place of hate. If you hate your body. You're not gonna wanna. You're gonna. You're gonna wanna disconnect from it. You know. You're not gonna want to go to the gym. You want nothing to do with your body, and that's why a lot of overweight people who have been fat shamed will get depressed and stay in the house, and they don't want to show their body because they're being fat shamed. So if you love on them, they'll be encouraged and they'll feel a part of the community, like the body positivity a movement says. Be a part of the world because you are represented and you matter. Now they feel like they can go out. They can hike if they want to. They can go to the gym. A lot of big people have gym anxiety for that reason because of fat shamers. So we, we have to do better as a community. But if you love somebody, you would tell them the truth. And I don't know what's the nice way way to say you fat. Yes, like, you know, is there a nice the way point, of saying, right? oh, are you, you fat? Because you feel like, oh, I, I really, really like you. I really love you. I just don't want you to die. You tell them you're worried about so, them. Okay. Oh, but you don't have... But my thing is, don't tell them you're fat. You're obese. Yes. You need to lose weight. Not it's not that That's bad. not your job, right? I think a doctor... That's, that's the doctor's that's, job that's to tell point. somebody you are obese and you need to lose weight. I don't think we should be, like, judging people based on the way they look. But I do <laughs> feel like there is such thing as extremely obese. Because I saw some pictures and I'm like, there's no way I would recommend that. There's no way I would advocate for that. Because yeah. it's unhealthy. Like, mm -hmm. let's not think about society for a minute. Right. Let's think about our health. 300, 3 million Americans are obese in America and 112,000 Americans died last year from obesity. That's because of food. So That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So bottom line is if we can educate people to live a healthier lifestyle, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, I mean, do you think the best way? way. I mean, but I, I think, think I think, you know, like we, there's this culture of shaming people. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we see some things, we feel like it, it doesn't look right. Like you mentioned earlier, you know, 600 pounds in your own mind, you think the person is 600 pounds. You don't know their BMI. You don't know if they have eye blood, you know, pressure or their sugar level is high, but you just see them <clears> and you <throat> think they look fat or they, you know, or you, yeah, you shame right. them. Mm -hmm. I think the right thing to do is actually, if they're not close to you, you know, on your own, you try to advocate for things like, okay, you know, how can we encourage people to eat healthy? You know, how can we, um, you know, take things to communities, where, you know, feed them healthy foods, you know, or encourage them to go, you know, vegetarian, you know, vegan or something, you know, uh, rather than shaming them, telling them to their faces, oh, no, you know, you, you don't look right or you're fat or it's something. I'm not going to categorize it as shaming. Um, I, I truly appreciate honesty. And I think it's good when people tell you something about yourself and then you take a good look at yourself and decide for yourself if you think um, they're speaking the truth to you. I want someone to tell me if I have lipstick on my teeth, even if I don't like it. Um, so I, I appreciate every criticism, as long as it's constructive. I take it, you know, and I take a look at myself too and try to assess it if it's um, something that you need to work on or, you know, maybe they're just jealous. Like that. I also feel like the, this movement, I feel like it does not fix in the problem of body shaming because yeah. it's how nice to say, oh no, stay the way you are. But if, I mean, on social media, on things, you are constantly fitting by a certain standard of beauty or let's say even on Instagram, you have to be your send of luck. That's why I felt like women are putting, I mean, society putting women so much under pressure because they have to look a certain way in order yeah. to be kind of considered or defined as beautiful. But these, so that's but, but, what I'm saying is mm -hmm. that this movement is lacking on the sense where it's kind of selfish to say, oh, it's nice to say, oh, you, if you would kind of say like, oh, you 100 pounds, 800 pounds, or you just say the way you are, oh, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And you see all the people no, who are with you. Yeah, it's like, like, but the movement is kind of doing that. The movement is kind of doing that to say that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, I felt like, 
even we have to understand that uh, beauty or body image plays such an important role in our society that I felt like it's really easy to get caught up into that quest of beauty. That right. it's really selfish to say, "Oh no, just stay, stay the way you are." That's but not what the when you say, is but that, part no, of not. it, it's said to accepting the way Except your body, you your body, change. the way it is. But yeah, that's not true. But, but how are you trying to change if you're saying, "I'm okay the way I am"? No, no that's, that's not, not what the movement yourself. is saying. I think there's been a misconception about what the movement is about. Right. The people who started it is about loving yourself, saying, "Oh yeah, you know, I have stretch marks, but I still want right, to wear shorts. Exactly. I will wear my shorts." Why I use cocoa butter to try and right, you know right. clear up my skin? And, and if I'm, and if I'm, that's I, I, sorry, I, I think it's gone beyond. The other side, I see it as okay. Well, no, that's not I'm what you're happy saying. being me. And I ain't gotta change nothing. Do you know what no. you're seeing? You're seeing big people reclaiming their time because we have been marginalized for exactly. so long. It's the same as saying like people who are mentally slow. You can't say the R word as you used to before, right? Because that was shaming. Mm -hmm. Now they're reclaiming their time. They're doing things. They're becoming doctors. They're going to school. It's the same thing. Big people are just reclaiming their time. We're saying, you know what? Instead of you fat shaming me, I'm going to come out my house and right. I'm going to wear a crop right, top. Right, right. And you're, whether you like it or not, I don't give, I don't give a... Yeah. I've been, yeah. I mean, yeah. I agree with what you're saying because I've been fat shaming in the in the modeling industry. When I first moved to New York, I wanted to become a model, and they told me I was too fat. I didn't have the look. I had to lose 30 pounds, and I was 130 pounds. I feel like there is such thing as body shaming. Like I said, I've been called fat, but I also feel like body positive. It's not just about being fat because there's anorexic people. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't yeah. say, oh yeah, you healthy, except being mm -hmm. having an eating disorder because it's you. unhealthy. You see their bone like no. So is it alright for me to call we, a skinny we, person? I think we have anorexic? to take into account to also like um, your what's what's the word I'm looking for? Like different countries look at fat and skinny different Ooh, ways. Right, right. And yeah, in Europe, like that. it's the thing to be like skinny and slim. But there's countries in Africa well, that like hey, women I that are so big. No, there's a difference they, between being fat and being curvy. That's another thing. No, and being obese. Being we're talking about obesity. Obesity. Wait, wait, wait. What's the difference what's the between difference? being fat no, and right. curvy? What's the difference? What's the difference? So I'm fat, right? No, no, no. Wait, first of all, who made this scale? Like, what's the difference? Explain to me. I need to know the difference. Okay. Go ahead. Curvy girl would be more like Zenobia, right? And fat would be someone who. Look at the picture. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, but see. Okay, so this is before and after. So who's? This is before and after. I feel like I feel like one side is okay. I really. Don't care. Here's the other side is <laughs> I I am taking Here's into the thing. account Here's the thing. that I'm taking my health and I'm, I'm making an effort. The to word my fat, body. Yeah. I don't think we should use to describe people. We, she yeah. is fat. She is fat. We all have actual fat, fat on our, our bodies. bodies. Right. Some of us have more than others. I don't call myself fat. I am not fat. I am so chima. I have yes, fat. So chima. I have more fat yes. on my body <laughs> than the average person. But you. What is who made the scale of this is curvy right up to this point? This is fat. That makes no sense because what's fat to you might be curvy to someone else. Right. Mm -hmm. I think we have to and think beautiful. Of, no. I think we have to that. think about when it comes to body positivity movement. Just I don't even care about people's bodies. Just how the shaming goes in general. Like if I go to a restaurant and I get a double cheeseburger and I'm sitting next to somebody who's fat mm -hmm. who orders the same thing as me, mm -hmm. nobody's gonna bother me when I'm eating a double yeah. cheeseburger. People are gonna look but at the other person and be like, to say Damn, about, yeah. you're green. and not even yeah. that's also even at this recent situation of a woman that was sitting in a plane and she had two larger people on each side I of her and she made such a big deal and she's like, and she oh well, you them. need to eat salads. Yeah. Oh, Oh, I go to the See, gym. That's, that's too much. Yeah. That's, 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 that's too much. much. Well, that's now, a, now, if you do sit next to a plane and and they're they're too big for the seat, mm -hmm. I feel like that can become an issue because mm -hmm. one, it's unhealthy. But she's shaming and though. Two, that well, woman was shaming that's because right. even Lonnie Love spoke on it. Lonnie Love is a, a bigger woman her. herself, and mm -hmm. she said, but. She had a different intake on it. She's saying that, okay, I know that I'm big, yeah. so I'm going to ask to sit somewhere or I'm going to pay on for a seat where I'm at. Yeah. But you don't, but it, you shouldn't though. have to do that, though. That You shouldn't if have you, to do you that. you don't fit what? in the seat, but, I don't, but, but they okay, fit. But they you fit in the seat, though. But they, she, she could have she went with it a different way. Like, she could have asked to be switched with different, like, there's different... She, she, should, she, she should never talk to the person directly. She should have asked that, the, I agree with. Yeah, she should ask the flight attendant, oh, can I get another seat? Rather than making this whole video, oh, yeah, you're fat, that's so me. Like, that, 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 I don't really really understand why being fat, it's, 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 it's okay, it's considered okay. If someone, you know if you're fat, you, Basically, you unhealthy. I still don't you understand what the way. I still don't understand. Listen, there's different 
understand what this word fat means. Ta- what do you mean? What do you mean? FIFA. We all know when you see no, fat people. No, I don't. What okay, do you mean? Someone wins. I'm like, what other words? 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 What so but that's what I'm saying. Okay, well, that's, that's, like, that's, fat like, fat that's fat to, to some fat? people. Wait, so wait. what is fat to you? Mala, what, what, if a woman says, I weigh this much, what do you think is fat? I I I I I I look at fat based on appearance. I look at fat based on my appearance, though. But you can't do that, though. Like, Milan can't even say it nicely. It's a task. He has to like prepare himself to say something nicely, which is wrong. I can understand where he's coming from because we're we come from the same culture but it doesn't make it right no, so but what size is fat? So what size is fat? What size? I think it's based upon your height. No, you I, mean, I really be... want to know that answer. I, what I, I size? Think, is, what I is fat? Think, I, I'll, I'll be honest, and I'm gonna say at the end of the day, I think I agree with the word fat, but it's based off of proportions. If you look unproportionate. But people can't control. What is fat? What is you fat? Can, you're, 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 you can control. control. You definitely you can control. control. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what is fat? Obvious question. What is fat? fat what fat? size? Okay, if you wear an extra extra large, then you fat. That's so two X's. Two X's is fat. But it's not fat. If they're five, if they're five eleven, you can't say that. You saw the woman, right? You saw the woman, right? They were all different. She's five eleven. She's five eleven. She was fat. She was fat. No, the other picture of the other one. You said she was fat. I mean, she's fat. Dadley. No, I was talking about you. See that? She's plus size. How about that? Yeah. Yes, because fat has a negative connotation. And when you put a negative connotation to something and you're calling someone fat, now you are shaming them. Yeah, I'm not 2XL is fat. What about the height, though? You're not even talking about the person's height. <laughs> Listen, we don't, if they're making 2XL, they don't make it for, they don't They don't look at that. They look at the, 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 the body. No, because everyone, everyone has a different shape. Everyone has different shaped bodies, though. You guys are talking about proportion. Some people carry most of their weight up here. And then their legs are like this. Exactly. Where some people you have these... big thighs and then they have that's, a small waist. That's a good idea. So, no, but they're both two X. But they're both two X. So, they all have muscle. That's also, that's also muscle protein. It's, <laughs> that's that's what built. it's not right. a natural thing. What I'm saying is, yeah. they might wear two XL. But they don't make it for them. They make it for fat people. Are you kidding? It's not like they're two XL for fat people. XL, two XL, XXL, they all considered fat. Because when they're making uh, clothes in America or wherever it's making, the, the designers are making clothes, obviously they make it for same, the same type of bodies. They make, it for, they make a medium size, they make a small size, they make a large size, they, they, you know, they consider the, the plus sizes, so they make sh- um, you know, plus size shirts for plus size people. So I feel like if you, if you wear two XSL, you shouldn't be like oh, okay, like we have our own clothes. We have a, we have clothes to wear too, so I'm I'm okay. I don't think if a designer is making clothes, he's making two X two XL for skinny people. He's making it for fat people, obviously. Plus size what? is the proper. What? But no, 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 but wait, wait. That, that's what I'm saying. We don't have to shoot a code. What about the woman that has really big bust? Does that make them oh. act fat? Like if somebody have really big boobs, because I have like Cheryl, for example. That's what I'm saying. But they Cheryl, make, they don't, what's your last name? The, the one that used to be on the view. Yes. Okay. Cheryl. I'm not considered. Shepherd, I don't Shepherd. think Cheryl that. Cheryl Shepherd. She has super big boobs, but she has no ass, fat, no stomach, her legs and she skinny. fat. But, but I'm pretty sure she wear like. There's Ask different, there's different shapes. Oh, Milan, you can't base it on size because I don't think someone looks at me and they say, oh, Zenobia's fat, but I wear extra large bottoms sometimes. So you cannot say that because somebody wears this size that they are fat I mean, or, or plus size. I think size. the average woman actually wears like a size 10, size 12. Right. Of yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say the why. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. No, the why, the why, the, 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 the B or plus size. But the why the can be the why can be plus size, but she can be healthy. You guys don't know about they sizes. Know I bet you. I, but you guys yeah. don't really know about women's sizes yeah. because th- probably half of these women have the same size, same right. dress size, but they're tall and short. They stretch. Half of y'all stretch. Half yeah. of y'all dresses be stretching. Oh let's, let's be honest. No, okay. but the Call a space spray. Y'all got no, latex, yeah. spandex, and everything <laughs> sucked in. Like, oh, but bottom line, say it. bottom, 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 bottom line, line represents what body positivity movement right, is all right, about. Right. Just being confident. It doesn't mean being healthy. Right. It doesn't mean not looking after I think yourself. We can all agree that it's That's important to exactly be healthy, healthy and eat healthy food. Encourage people with love. She just tells us. But with that being said, with this whole movement, are we encouraging people to? 
much and not necessarily pushing them to be. There's no such thing be, as encouraging too much. Are, are, we, are, we allowing them to, are we allowing them to just say, okay, I'm fine with where I'm at and not really push no. them? I mean, you know, honestly, with this whole body positivity thing, I think, you know, it, it leads way for those that are fat to get comfortable. Uh, to, to feel as though they are fine just the way that they are and not really take that next step to better themselves because this campaign really shows that, yes, you are beautiful and you should appreciate where you are, but that doesn't mean that you have to stay where you are. And I think that it's important that you, you continuously grow and you continuously become a better person. No, I think you are relaying the wrong message. Like Soshima and Taiwo were saying, it's the wrong message. People are not understanding the body positive movement. Right. right. They're, thinking of something completely different. No, I'm just I'm because, the same just time, because someone is bigger doesn't mean they aren't, they, it's saying basically, this is the size that I'm at now. I've hated myself up until this point. Today, I'm going to love myself no matter what, what size I am. Right. Right. But okay. you know what, wait, 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 wait. Do you know what happens when you actually start to love your body though? You build a connection with it. Right. And now you want to feed it good things. And exactly. now you're on no. a wellness journey. Yeah, really, but no, 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 and, no, no, but, but, but that's you're saying people, yes. That's some people. Because you also see it on the other side. Why like you do you guys, Because for you, you're cause connected. You, a lot of them are unconnected I, and they're still unhappy. But what's the right way to reach out to this people? What is the right way to? When you feel like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm really comfortable in my body, it makes you relax. It makes you very, very comfortable. But what's wrong with that? There's a lot wrong with your health. If your health, you know what your real problem is? Wait a second. Do you know what your real problem is? Problem is you just don't want to look at it. Right. You have a problem looking at it. You just don't like the way it looks. If someone is a 2X and they're healthy, they've never had high blood pressure, they have good so BMI. Two X is good. They, yes. It's and for them. Doing, you're not you their cannot, doctor. You're not their medical you supervisor. Not, yeah. If they're but healthy it, and they want to stay that way for the rest of their life, they have every right to love themselves and be respected. Okay. You can't tell if someone's unhealthy by looking at them. I really wish people would stop thinking that. You can't tell nothing about no one other than what you see in front of you. Just the same way I can't look at a skinny, a super skinny person and assume they're anorexic, you can't look at a big person and assume they're obese and unhealthy. Okay. Just but as but as as you mentioned you mentioned they were not solid tank top on and just yes, that's and, and, and you can't wear a crop top. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, but and then you yeah, can't get mad if somebody comes at you like that, though. You, what do you mean? What do you mean if someone comes? If, 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 some, if somebody, if somebody uh, makes fun of you or says something about your outfit, you're so, you should be so comfortable because of this body positivity. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, but Mulan, at what? the same time, it's like if you don't want that attention, then don't wear it. You guys saying that we do not understand, you know, the purpose of, you know, that movement. But besides accepting your own body, what are the the solutions of? People body positivity insecure. covers all bodies. It's not encouraging obesity. It's yeah. for if, if a man has a, a beer gut, he's allowed to go to the beach and take off his shirt and not feel fat shame right, too. Right, it's yeah. not just about mm -hmm. girls looking the way you want them to look like on Instagram. Okay, okay, okay. 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 You're, you're, under, you're understanding the body positivity. All your when you hear body positivity movement, all you're thinking about is really large women. You're not taking account for the women Disabled that have stretch bodies. bodies. Exactly. The, the women that are acne, more acne. Yes. Body positivity movement covers a lot more, and I think there's just an under a misunderstanding as to what it is. When people hear the body body positivity movement, they automatically think we're talking about plus size people and they kind of forget about all these other skin issues and body issues that people have. Um, I think it's because there's no activist for stretch marks. There's no activist for anorexia or they may be and maybe they're not marketing well or they're not as popular, but when I think of body positivity, even myself, even if I, even though I understand the movement, I still first think of plus size people. Yes, but you no, have, but that's, that's my point. Care of it. Like, oh, I have stretch marks. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna fix it. Should you hate yourself while you're no, taking care of it? We're not. What you're saying? No, that's what you are saying. No, you're telling yourself. You're saying. No, I didn't say that. That's what you're telling yourself. You gotta understand what you're saying. No, that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's coming from love. I don't, I don't have to sugar. Like, yo, like That's if, if you're body, big or no, maybe bro. you have like an acne, it's called maybe your breast things. It's okay to tell you, bro, like, body yo, shame, oh. Bro. But we're talking about, no, we're talking about the <laughs> body positive yes. movement, right? I'm and then you give an example of like the acne and whatnot. Too, it's not encouraging. So you it, 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 it is encouraging. It is encouraging. It's telling people, okay, oh, you have a bad it's, body. It's fine. Be very comfortable. You have a. You, you I think extremely obese, obese is unhealthy, and I, I, you don't need to, you know, 
like do research. You can see it. If the person can't right. breathe by themselves, they they have to walk can't with something or they yeah, yeah, come on. But what she's saying like, is it's okay. I know what she's saying. She never said that. She never said that. I remember I said health is important in the beginning. I said health, we can all agree health is important. But if someone is morbidly obese, they can't what? That's what you're saying. Do not No, I'm not saying don't tell them. I'm saying come from a place of love. Don't fat shame them. Oh, she was just like, we're fucked. That's <laughs> the problem. That's, that's the problem. Problem. See, the you're problem. asking, that's how do you say problem. it? How do you say it? In different cultures, we say it differently. My mom see me every time. She's like, you getting fat. You need to lose weight. Yes. And she don't think there's anything wrong with that's that. Right. That's Nigerians. a cultural yes. thing. Nigerians. Like, <laughs> that's a cultural thing. Niger like, my mom, every, my mom cannot go without but telling me how a, big I'm getting, is, right? I feel like Nigerians if you don't say, you if you don't say you like that weight. in that tone, they'll, they'll feel like it's no, okay. No, first of all, it makes me, no, because when she said like that, I brush her off like, I'm in the gym, relax. Like, it makes me want to be like, I don't want to hear it. So that's not, it don't feel like that. Especially one. It doesn't feel good. We can all agree. Shaming doesn't feel good. Exactly, because ki kids get bullied at school for being fat, and that's not right. So because they're fat, you it's not your job to tell them that. That's I was their fat job. as a kid, and, and honestly, they that made me go to the gym. But no, it's, no, but it's different it's for everyone. Exactly. Exactly. You, know, you were bullied for being fat. Yeah. And, then you your point? Point? and I went to the gym. I, but that, that forced that me to look at myself so to be like, all right. So you never felt insecure? You never felt of like that you were That, that you pushed me. That's what pushed me. Yeah, you know, honestly, I had to make the change for myself when I when I was younger. I was definitely a little chunk, chunk, chunky monk and uh, people made fun of me and you know for a while it was something that that bothered me uh, but at the end of the day I still loved myself and it was a change that I decided to make for better me and something that I wanted to see in myself. What is the point? The point is sometimes you need that outside but, source to push you. But did you love yourself you. through that? Of course, but no. I, of course I didn't and like people being bullying you, right? You still love yourself if you love yourself. Yeah. No matter true. what other people what? say. Th th and I think this is even more of the body positivity. No matter what other people say or they bully me, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable that's with myself. That's the body positive movement. But that's what I'm saying. So, but but I'm loving myself, but just because everyone else is telling me, I'm looking at myself in a different light. Yeah. Just because I was comfortable then, now it makes me look at myself differently. I think yeah. And yeah. I'm going to do what's right for me. And that's if I what decide to go, that's body positive. That's what we're saying. Let's it doesn't encourage obesity. You just kind of like prove that point. Like point. Let's be real because you, we just, I think, the way it works is that we, this world is just full of sharks and full of people who are mean. Because if right. you don't take care of things, you're going to get bullied like he did. We get like all people, the time. no, we all have insecurities, <laughs> but like he said, he got body shamed, so he went to the gym. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is, I think we all victim of what, what I call like self objectification, which is kind of monitoring like your body image from an outsider perspective. It's like we are constantly like, imagine how people will see us from an outside perspective. Mm -hmm. Especially Instagram. We are all, yeah. and thank you yeah. for, for women. We, you guys Instagram have been taking 300 dangerous. pictures just to get one picture. Just to tell them that it's it's crazy. Is that what wait, 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 let me start to the side, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and thank you, thank you. It's so like it's crazy. But at the same time, the is, this, is this body positivity movement telling people, okay, good. You can accept your body for the way you are or what you look like, but at the same time, you can. Can you work towards it? I think basically, what the what the body positivity movement is saying is, oh, it's okay. Do not listen to anybody. Be you, regardless. And that's not something. Positive. I was just looking for someone to say, oh, okay. By the way, they're saying, okay, you know, go jogging. Go like eat very healthy, like nobody was saying anything like that. It was just saying, oh, be yourself, love yourself. Like be yourself, love yourself. And then what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up dying. If you ask me, I'm not, I, I don't think that the body, body positivity movement is encouraging obesity because I understand what the actual movement is. But you have to understand that people don't understand what the exactly. movement is. And we just ask yeah. ourselves, do we even know where the movement started? We don't know. There's no one educating people on saying this is what it actually means. So when you see a morbidly obese person saying, oh, I don't want, I don't have to go to the gym. I love myself. God is going to take me when he takes me, blah, blah, blah. That's because there's a, a, a a misconception there's a misunderstanding of oh, what it ugly. means yeah. i'm not saying that, that you're ugly i'm saying that you're not healthy that's where i'm coming from right but if it's someone that is having health issues and you're you're feeling defensive and you're like oh nothing's wrong with me at, at the end of the day i work in a medical yeah, field and i see morbidly exactly. obese people all the time coming to the hospital because they're having heart problems or they're not walking Strokes well all the time yeah so the, it, it's the health part of it that from me and my standpoint is like 
It's not healthy. Yeah. So, but can but, we, can but be, if, can, I, if when I'm looking at this picture right wrong? here, Milan, y'all may call be. half of these people fat you or 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 um or obese you you or big, whatever you want to call That's them. Average. But none of them really look unhealthy to me. Yeah, I'm not gonna right. sit there and she say, right. Oh, you need the to lose weight. Woman looks like I'll, that. I'm not, okay, so I'm not I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying on. that, but I'm also <laughs> saying that go. you need to walk out the house with a crop top on. No. Yes, you should. Wait, so you're saying so you're saying so you're saying plus size people can't walk outside with a crop top on. Who do you think is fat here? Why can't why why can't V B B Are you v. joking? Oh my god. So you said B is fat? I don't want to see B in the crop top. I don't know. I don't but I don't want to see in the crop top either. I don't listen. B in the crop top it's a no. So let me just let's put it. If you if you know you you, you, when you put on a crop top and you step up, no, she's beautiful. B, but then crop tops are not made for B. Uh, fat, the model, the model B and the model V. I don't know if you see the screen. Those two models are considered fat. Yeah, they can wear a crop top. For B. Are you joking? What crop tops are made for anyone who has a stomach? Who's next? Who else? Well, who okay, else but, is but, but but let's be honest. Come on, if if you wear what? if you wear a crop top and you you have. <laughs> extra weight. Well, I'm not gonna say fat because clearly I'm not getting real. Okay. <laughs> if you have extra weight, then you have to be. Uh, you have to understand Why? that some people. Because it bothers you. If I'm body no. positive and I love myself, so wear it. But he said I can't wear it. But he said I can't wear it. It's not okay it's, to be walking why? around with the crop top. It depends on how it's you not, wear it. It depends on how you wear it. Okay. Wait. 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 Why? Why can't? Why can't be wear a crop top? They can't. I might say something about it. Right. No. Why? Why is it not right? Why? Because first of all, it's not, it's not, not, not only doesn't it look good, good. first That's of all, you're telling answer. people, oh, it's Milan is stripping. Um, I don't know why it's not okay for someone plus size to wear a crop top. I think crop tops are made for people who have stomachs. And if you have a stomach, you can wear one. And I think the real issue is that he just doesn't like to look at it. A lot of these guys were dancing around the real issue. You don't like to look at a big stomach because it's not the ideal um, image of beauty. So get over it. Body positivity is saying, I don't give a crap what you think. I like my body and I'm proud of it and it's carried me this far and I'm going to wear what I want to wear. Not because I care about what you think, but because I want to wear it. Okay, even you. if you're fat, you can wear a crop top. But so then there's people will not be encouraged that. to be healthy or go to the gym. But you can be healthy. That's what she, we're trying to say. Can I say yeah. something? Can I say something? If you guys look at research, it has been statistically proven fat shaming does the opposite effect. I'm not fat when you shaming. constantly but you're you are fat shaming. That's you're telling no, someone no, no. that they can't she wear a crop top. That's shaming. You shaming. Yeah. You're telling them that they're not pretty go, enough no, no, to no, no, wear a crop top. So yes, that's what you're saying. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me finish my thought. That you should go to the gym. Are you joking? But wait, that's shaming. That's not shaming. You're telling them that they're not pretty enough the way they are today. What if they are in the gym? You have no idea someone's lifestyle. What if they work out more than you? Some what if they're get, what yeah. if they have a thyroid issue and they gain weight yeah. easier than you? Yeah. What we all know that skinny friend that can eat anything they right. want and doesn't gain a damn pound. <laughs> right? But but someone, wait a second. But someone someone with a someone with a thyroid issue, someone who has PCOS, right. they can't eat. They can't. They can't eat the same as a skinny and so person, but, and they gain but, weight. Uh, but they have to. But, they can't show their stomach if, if, because if you're this, uncomfortable. If this, if this person is my friend, obviously I'll tell them, "Yo, go to the gym." The person, maybe the person has these issues, but right? The person so, can tell maybe me, "Oh, healthy. this is the reason." But so I can't tell my be, friend to go to the gym. Be, she looks healthy to yeah, me. You don't she know. Is. She probably. But what she if she runs every time. day? She okay. even have abs. What if she runs every day? I'm not saying. What if she runs every day? You don't know that. No problem with being wearing crop top. No problem with oh. No problem with V. <laughs> you can't pick and select. L. Everyone is allowed but to wear a crop top. No, they are, but we're not Everyone. saying that. And we also, there's nothing wrong with us having our opinion of what looks right earlier. and you what doesn't. You just don't like the way it looks. That's like somebody, that's like somebody who doesn't like the, the way it looks. Other people have on their bodies. I don't think what looks right and what doesn't look right. If somebody has a horrible outfit on. But there's no, there's no scale. There's no, there's no book that says 200 pounds is not right. Agree, but that's my opinion. It's just like if somebody has a horrible. 
with that guy. If somebody has a horrible <laughs> outfit on, I, I can't. I can say I don't like yeah. that outfit. Yeah, yes. Your own, you have your own exactly. Style. And, 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 it's, and it's the same. And, and I agree. But it, just because wrong, I have bro. that, just because I have that viewpoint, does not mean that it's wrong. I, the same way, there's not wrong I'm to wear the crop you, top. You, I'm, but just no, I'm saying you, you can't fat shame them into right. going to the gym. You no, can't tell them don't wear that crop top. Go to the gym and get abs. But some people and what and that's what I'm saying. How do you know what looks healthy? What if they are? What if B is in the gym every day? But that's not that. Is that. Whatever they you're say, eating is not is not good for you. That's not true. That's not true. No, I'm just, I'm just Everybody saying. It's not body shaming. Body I just feel type. like if you are big, someone has to let you know that. Okay, right. like, you if know, you're big, right. you know you're big. First you know you're big. Yeah. This is my thing, though. I don't care. We know we fat. I don't care. You're big. If you want to be big, you want to be unhealthy. All that's cool. We live in New York City, right? There's a lot of tight spaces. This is when it becomes an issue for me. I don't care what you're wearing. I don't care who you are as a person. I don't care if you're healthy or unhealthy. It becomes an issue, like if we go back to the airplane. I paid my money just like the person sitting next to me, but do I have to sit on a plane from New York City to Texas, L.A. and be for six hours stuck time. next to the wall? Never or or if I'm on the subway and the subway's packed, Hello? and a bigger person is coming in, and they're like, oh, I'm getting on this train, and now we all have to squeeze in because this person but that is like... Would, that's the same case for anybody. It's, it's not right, but it's just like... What, what do we do there? I'm from the South. I really, we're really big on our personal space. Living in a city like New York, there's like people are always jam packed on top of each other. So honestly, if I had to be in a crowd filled with people, I'd like to be in a crowd filled with skinny people than a crowd full of big people. But that's if I got a choice. Obviously, I don't get to choose. I don't want to say it's an, I mean, I said it was an inconvenience and I mean, granted, me being cramped regardless is an inconvenience, but being cramped with bigger people is an even more inconvenience. Wow. But, there, but, there, but that's okay. That to, yes, yes. How do you relate that to body positivity? I feel like the movement is about, you know, celebrating strength, beauty, you know, just being confident. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that we, the movement does not encourage being healthy. Right, right. That's but where the mistake is. I'm where the shame part is coming from because people aren't being inconvenienced and that's why every, the shame every, part is coming from. But the inconvenience doesn't have anything to do with the movement. The inconvenience doesn't have anything to do with the movement. You don't think people shame people, just like the woman on the airplane, you don't think people shame but, yeah, but she didn't have to do that, though. She could have asked a flight attendant for another seat. But why did she do it? Because she was being inconvenienced. It's a culture. It's a culture. So what if someone with a wheelchair gets on the train? You're going to say you're being inconvenienced? I'm not saying it's right, but if I'm sitting on a chair, if I'm sitting down on a chair and somebody in a wheelchair comes in, I'm like, damn, I got to get up. I'm going to get up because it's the right thing to do. I want to sit down. If a disabled person walks on the train and I'm sitting down and they need a seat, I'm always going to get up and give them my seat. Do I want to do it? No, because I sat down for a reason, but obviously I'm going to yield this seat towards them because they need it more than I do in this moment. But, but, no, here's the thing, here's the thing. There are a lot of older people that are obese. So you have to, um, that are on wheelchair and they are, some of them are big. So you have to consider that too. This so, world is filled with different people. You yeah. were all inconvenienced yeah. in New York City. First no of all, if you don't like tight spaces, you got to move out of New York, first right, of all. Right. And second of all, you have to let people be positive about their body, yeah. if, whether they're on a wellness journey or not. Yeah. Right. And if people lose weight differently, too. Just like you see yeah. how everybody look different. Mm -hmm. Some, Some people, people will never be a size you two no matter how yeah. many times. I have a question yeah. for you, though. What about if you have a friend who weighs like 800 pounds, right? Uh, no, let me finish. And you just gonna leave him or yeah. her no, like no. this? That's no. what we're saying. That. That's how, 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 that's how, 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 how are you gonna proceed things? How are you gonna tell Send her? Send them up so, for so, a diet class or exercise class. Go no, with them. I signed up for diet class. Here you no, go. No, no, I'm go, I'm go with them. I'm so go the with them. Encourage them. Body positivity like is saying that the way that you are now, you should love yourself. So that person, yes, that 800 pound person, but believe it you, or not. Did you see TLC? The the, the, yes, the, show, the, the 600. But listen, yeah, yeah. listen, that 800 pound They're person miserable. needs love more than anyone else. They need love from everybody at that point because if their health really is at risk, they need more love than anyone right. to actually and support be them. motivated. And no, support, they need more, support, they need like, support support. I'm telling you. By, I'm, by, by this is, and, and this is what I was saying world. earlier. That's fat shaming has the opposite. Research has shown if you constantly shame somebody, they are not going to go outside. If you hate yourself, you're not going to go out. You're not going to go to the gym. You hate your body. Right. You want right. nothing to do with it. You're going to stay in the house. And that's where couch potatoes come from. In order to get someone... Uh, in a healthy lifestyle, you have to love on them right. more, like, 
unconditional love. And speak to them. Like, it's how you that's say it. It's not like, saying. yeah, it's not like, say, yeah, you fat. You need to go to the gym. That doesn't work. I would be that so offended if, if my boyfriend Period. say that to me. Like, honey, you leave it after that <laughs> sentence. So, I'll be like, baby, let's go to the gym together. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 No, but with that still, trust me, with even that, they would still say, oh, so you're calling me fat? That's not true. That's not true. That's Sometimes you need the motivation, but sometimes you need the motivation. Like if I have like a buddy to go to the gym with me, I'll probably be more encouraged to go. So if I'm your boyfriend, I'm saying you fat, you're gonna kick me out? Yes, I was dating somebody who said that to me, he was never done. Loved him. Like he was I, telling, maybe he, he noticed some. He but he wasn't skinny either, so you're not skinny. You talking about okay. my guy? So tell oh, him wait, the same wait, thing wait, too. Wait, I would leave him because I think that's body shaming. Because if we get into an argument, why are you talking about my body? You lay with it every time. You had no problem with that, so why all of a sudden you feel the need to point at it? Because I've been in a situation where my boyfriend was, he didn't say, Z, you getting fat, but he's like, babe, like, what's going on? Right. And I didn't notice. I was like, really? Like, <laughs> I kind of was just like, okay, <laughs> let me, like, watch what I'm eating. So you can't, I get it, right? I get what you say. Oh, we're going to break up. But my boyfriend yeah. was really out for my concern. He's like, what's going on? And but I'm, I'm not like, fat. So the fact that he said it to me was rude. And okay, but, uh, okay, but that's, and that's where you're not understanding. <laughs> like, that's what fat doesn't, doesn't have a, there's no picture of it's fat. I went everyone. from, it, it, right. it's a look. If you notice that someone is gaining weight, that's but it. he said it in an argument. That was fat shaming me. Oh, so, yeah. So, no, so you came back. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he's just like, maybe he's just trying to like get on your nest. You, you he knows you, that you, yeah. you yeah. Love yeah. Because that's you don't love yourself. But yeah, yeah. 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 Trying so, to shame me. No. Exactly. So, but yeah. this is not so someone that was trying to shame me. This is somebody that's saying, I noticed you're gaining weight that I didn't notice that I was gaining. That's how he said it. He was like, baby, you're getting fat. And I was like, damn. But see, but I, but we have that relationship. Yes. We have that relationship where I'm saying, okay, I know he's not malicious and he's noticing that I'm gaining weight. I don't take offense to it. So it depends on the person. If I, if my mom tells me all the time, uh, AC, you're getting fat. All right. I need to lose weight. I don't take it as my mom is fat shaming me. Thank you. So it depends on who you're talking to. It depends on the relationship that you have with that person. Because if I went to turn around and tell my boyfriend, you're getting fat, he's not going to feel no type of way when they're coming from But the difference with her is that these me. are people that are in your life yeah, that exactly. you know. I think that it's a cultural thing. Or I think in some cultures, it's okay for people to say, oh, you're fat or, or you're getting big. Because in my culture, I'm from Ghana, and... My aunts and everybody, we're all thick. We're all like, you know, have meat on our bones. And it doesn't, no one takes offense when someone says, oh, you're getting fat. Like my mom tells me all the time, every time she sees me, you're getting fat. You need to watch what you eat. And my mom has always been very blunt, very honest, like make a change now. My mother has never sugarcoated anything to me. Like, oh, I made you a salad. Like, no, my mother is saying, Next week, you say you off on Tuesday. Go to the gym on Tuesday. That's how my mother speaks to me. So I have that relationship with her. So I don't take offense. And I can understand other people may take offense if I was to tell somebody on the street, oh, you're getting fat. I saw you on the corner last week. You need to go go to the gym. I'm well, talking if you, but they're saying someone in the street be she, randomly walking the street with a crop top, top and he's calling her fat. Oh, that's, not her. Her. that's not what I said. That's not what I said. <laughs> What you mean? That's it. People, people oh, okay, all the okay. time. I was walking over here, right? This bum asked me for money, and I'm like, I don't have any money. And I walked in front of him, and he said, ooh, you got a fat ass. And but I'm like... He, but that's different, that's though. That's, 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 that's true. You should not say that to anybody. That's not shaming. He was flirting. I don't want to hear that from him. I don't want to hear that from him. I don't want to hear anybody say things like that. Yeah, that's right. You think that's the person said you have a skinny ass? No, I would like to say, I don't think that's shaming. Don't speak like that You shouldn't say you shouldn't comment on other people's bodies, period. It's not your body. And it's not your journey. And you don't know what they're doing. You don't know what disease they have. Um, but what I will say is skinny shaming does exist. Like, has anyone ever told you, oh, you're too skinny, you're too thin? I mean, a few people say that, but, you know, like, people also tell me, especially in the industry I work in, like, oh, you know, you need to lose some weight. Or, you know, why's your hips 35? You need to lose weight. You know, and they have, you know, you know, measure tapes. Yeah, measure tapes. And they're like, you know, and I'm like, okay, okay. But, wow. <laughs> you know, am I supposed to leave off, how, you know, coffee and, but, you know. But like, you see how anorexic some of these models look? And that's yeah, why body positive but, exists because the people are on the one because he you can love yourself but and you but don't nobody have to was be even talking about anorex uh, anorexia like that they were saying that 
Europe, Europeans made that a standard of beauty, and everybody was trying to chase that standard. So when the body positivity, that's but, where the misconception comes from. When when people hear, oh, be body positive, nobody is talking about the skinny people yeah. or the people with stretch marks. That's where the misunderstanding and, comes and from. Because like, we're, like, we're, we're constantly talking about uh, plus size people, but no one is talking about people like that obesity, are anorexic. Anorexia is a disease as well. Yes, so exactly. what would you do if your friend was, you noticed they weren't eating and they were losing weight and it was, mm. you know, like it doesn't get the you same connotation oh, as, are, are, are you going to tell me, are you going to tell, are you going to tell, so Milan, I have a question. Skinny. Are you going to tell uh, someone who looks anorexic not to wear a tank top? I mean, a crop top? I would. I mean, it, but being if, anorexic, if, if, if it that's a choice. Like, if it's my friend, like, yo, why is she wearing Regis, Regis, that? you just <laughs> no said shame. being anorexic is a choice. Anorexia no, is not, not a choice. Not a choice. That's a mental well, issue. Yeah. That's and body dysmorphic syndrome. That. And they're looking in the mirror and they're food, seeing something disorder. completely different yeah. than it's a what it is that they think they're seeing. What I'm trying to say is if, I mean, like you pointed out, when you, I found when you're skinny, I think people would, you would be less offended what people tell you to gain weight rather than you being so. no, 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 See, no, no, I, I, I think, think it's the have same. Have you talked to someone who's so. anorexic? I don't think so. I don't it's, think it's so. A, it, no, have because you talked to someone who's anorexic? Because already being skinny kind of fits in the norms of someone who's kind That's of... That's not normal. No, it doesn't. Oh. Okay, no, it doesn't. Because, because, because we're, right happen. now we're praising women that are thick and curvy. Is that not? Is that true I mean, or not true? It's true. Oh, all these, all true. these injections. Yeah, there's a lot of skinny women that are feeling insecure because they don't have hips. Because right now, the thing to be is to be thick, to be curvy. Like how you said earlier, there's a difference between fat and curvy. Everybody right now is trying to be curvy. Big boobs, small waist, big ass. Bah, but women that ass. are very... I have a lot of very slim friends that hate when people say that they're skinny. Don't call me skinny. Oh, a lot of, I have a lot of friends that when people make jokes, oh, you can eat anything and not gain weight. And they feel some shaming. type of weight because they are trying to Oh, they want to fit but, this norm. It's not no okay because but, skinny people, you look at skinny people, you'd be like, damn, they too skinny. They need to eat something. They need some meat. You People say that all the time. Yeah, you probably said do. that yourself. There's yeah. a lot of skinny women that want to be thick but yeah. don't want to be fat. Like there's, That's what I'm saying, that there's no there's size. A, there's so there's, a, there's, there's a no thin like, line. picture yeah. for fat well, no, the pic- or the picture, the picture, unfortunately, is what Instagram is, is showing of big all these boobs, fake... No of, big all, of all these fake entities. Yeah, I don't yeah. see how you can um, have big boobs and a flat stomach. You know what I'm saying? Big, and, 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 like, I wish people would big, realize that. Big, if you're big, you're going to have a big stomach and big thighs and... Like you can't have a big bug without. You can't work on that. I'm um, good. Say the skinny girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say the skinny girl eats cheeseburgers every day, never hits mm-hmm. the gym, and this fat girl actually goes to the gym and, and has it. Too? No, no, no. Maybe she has a, like a balanced diet. You yeah. don't have to cheeseburger, whatever. But like a balanced diet. Mm-hmm. Would you still feel the way you feel? But the thing feel? is that you can't see what the, this person's doing. And so that's you cannot really the just, problem. But you can't see what, I'm not, I'm not what big people up. are that's doing what, behind what doors. So you, I think it sucks because it always goes back to plus size women at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. no, no one's thing. talking about men. Historically, everybody's no, always policing women's bodies. Um, I, just, I think it sucks. Uh, I'm not going to say what they can and can't wear. All I got to say is... And, I, and, and don't it. you think it's crazy that, like, the second that, like, big women want to love themselves and create this movement and post whatever they want to post and wear whatever they want to wear, now we're encouraging obesity? Like, you guys would rather us be marginalized and, and fat shamed and hide in our houses? Like, we exist! We're in the world! That's we're not what they're saying. saying. That's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not what they're saying. How do they deal with that problem? Yeah. So it doesn't say two different things. Because, you know, when, when you know someone posts a picture and you think the person doesn't look the way you think they should look, you know, how do you not, you know, if, because you feel you feel that urge to say something because you feel like, you you know, you care about even their health. Me, you don't even know me, them. as the resident big person on the panel, I have to stop myself when I see someone bigger than me. I You cannot prejudge anybody even if they look sick i have to stop myself and be like yo i don't know what that person is i don't know their thyroid issue i don't know whether they have pcos i don't know how many kids they've had i don't know if they just started their their weight loss journey yesterday i have to stop myself from judging other big people so i think to answer your question you really have to we have to work on ourselves like we have to fix our souls like you can't look at someone and say whatever you want you don't know anyone's struggle yeah, I mean, you know, when it comes to body positivity, it honestly starts with yourself. And you've got to love yourself first, and that starts with the inside and not really worrying about outside sources, whether it's Instagram, friends, foes. I mean, anybody around you, it, it ultimately depends on how you feel, and, and the changes will come from there. Okay, so I feel like we still need to have a discussion about obesity, just so we can get away from, you know, 
understanding what um, body, body positivity movement is really about. And, you know, it's an epidemic, obesity, obesity rather, and we should have more discussions about it, talk about it. How can we, you know, make people his eat more healthy? How can we help the environment by actually helping ourselves too as well? You know, so it's, you know, it's good to actually understand what the movement is all about. I know that they're not just encouraging people to, you know, let go of themselves and their health, you know, but also just encouraging people with love, you know, I, to I be more overall, healthy. I agree with that in the sense that obesity is something that we have to deal with. However, I think this body positivity is allowing this lane of people to get comfortable. And mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest issue is that people are feeling too comfortable to wear. No. That's who's not edu who, the no. people that who's not educating. Who's educating? Themselves. Nobody's here educating. And the it. issue with obesity is not positivity. The issue with obesity is the food in America. I'm not right. saying Europeans are are skinnier because their food is healthier and, and they ride bikes quality. everywhere. Right. They never quality. drive. Very but I think the the body it's positivity. The, the body we're going back to obesity again. I'm looking at the overall movement, and I think that that's what we're missing is the overall movement. Is there there are not. It's not an actual movement. It's kind of something that just happened and became a movement. There's not there's not for, front runners that are really talking about it. There's not really people bringing notice or well, telling what the well, movement. Well, I don't think because you're not in the community. I don't think you would know. Mm. But there are a lot of front runners and a lot of plus size models and bloggers. But plus that... size. Again, we're going back to one aspect of yeah. it. If, mm -hmm. if this incorporates everything, mm -hmm. we're we're going right back. Yeah, to but plus that's size. how it started. So, but if it's including everything. Then we need to include everything within this movement. If, if that's if that's how we're doing it, but if a lot of the front runners are only plus size models and we're only talking about plus size people, then it's not including everyone. Yeah, the the, the movement should reach out to everyone. People mm -hmm. who have mm -hmm. flaws, you know, um, disabled people, mm -hmm. you know, short, fat, sorry, plus size, you know. Everyone should be involved in it. We should be more educated about it. So we know when we're talking to people, we're trying to encourage them to, you know, be better or, you know, be more confident or love themselves or, you know, just feel beautiful. We know what we're talking about because we know where it's inclusive. It's a movement that's inclusive. Behind body positivity is being confident. It celebrates strength, beauty, loving the skin you're in, taking care of your parents because... Trust me, presentation is everything in the world we live in. So that's just the message. And it can be women and men at the same time. Yes, it's, absolutely, it's because and men it, as well. is. it is. Because, trust me, there's certain men who are kind of feel a kind of way when they're short. So, yeah. Wait, what? what? <laughs> when they're short. I think because okay. this is a personal sure. experience. <laughs> when they're short. They when they're short. Way when they're short. They're feeling secure. But now short. you're yeah. covered by the body when positivity just... movement. Yeah. See how that works? I'm not yeah. saying I just called, called you short, bro. I'm not saying you short. You are not short. short. You are not short. I'm not short. How tall are you? I'm 5'11. So what's the same? What's short? What's fat? What's short? What's tight? We can take this apart. 5'11 and 6 feet, what is the difference? You know, it has no, you know, like, like control over his height. You we were, we were born, you know, this way. I mean, we grew taller, but it's, you know, due to our genes. And there's some people who are plus size too because of it. Yeah, yeah. That's because, true. because and of their big bones is a thing. Don't yes, at me. Is. That's Don't true. at no, me. No, that's true. I believe it's that. absolutely yeah. a thing. Yeah. Our bones are all the same size. Because the women in my yes. family are I'm big sorry, bones. our bones are all the same bones. size. Like big so who's Nigerian here? Because Nigerians, we, for some reason, like, I, right? Yeah. We're big bone. Mm -hmm. Like, I, even like my cousins who are naturally skinny, like all my cousins um, on my on my mother's side, they're all naturally skinny. But if you look at like our actual bones. big bones, like we're, we have heavy, dense, big bones, Africans. People are big boned. It's a thing. It's real. <laughs> like, <sighs> okay. So like people in Asia, like China, for example, a lot of the women and men, um, they're naturally slender. They're naturally small. And if you look at, like, I don't know how to, like, the size of their wrist, like, you could, like, see, like, the size of their bone is actually smaller and daintier than an African person. It's true. Like, I, the average African people that I know are, they're big boned. And also in the Caribbean, too. What, what, what are you trying to say? Big bones? Like, I'm trying they to understand. Big bones. To my understanding, I feel like bonded. you're saying bones. all, like, oh. Nigerians. So you're saying maybe Nigerians are big. Is that no, what you're no, saying? No, no, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm saying big. I'm responding to, like, big boned. Like, we are, I feel like, Nigerians especially. I don't, I don't know why. Because of my family. Just I'm, like, sorry. I'm going based off. Skeletons are all the same. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen that. No, no. Well, what? I've never I seen like, a big okay. I mean, I do not have any scientific proof. Y'all, you could call. Just to be clear. 
Come on now. A lot of Caribbean and African people, yeah. like, we know, like, we're big boned in our family. We're not the big same as, like, word. Word. big boned no, is a word, word, to, is a word to, to, to get around fat. No, it's not. <laughs> Listen, no, it's not. That's you want to know why? It no, it's not. Yeah, like, I got, I'm big boned. No, no, I mean. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. No, it's not. That's, that's not. So honestly, I think this big bone thing came from like the South or somebody's grandma, you know, that wanted to make sure that they, that they, they grandchild felt better about themselves. And she's like, don't worry, baby, you not fat, you just big boned, you know? And I, you know, I think it's just a cover up for saying you, you just, you just plump and plush, you know? What? All skeletons look alike, son. Yeah. Like, well, we I hope skeletons. <laughs> I hope you, you're, I hope all skeletons look alike because yeah, it means you have bone. every bone in your body. Which but some are bigger. If you pull a, a if you have you ever seen you you, you you know like some small people from like other countries. I don't want to say okay just Asian say people it. right right like a right. lot of the women are very <laughs> small petite. dainty and just small like African women are big boned like yeah, we're not Asians not too. all of us are, are <laughs> they are, might be are taller they might have longer broad, legs. broader shoulders yeah, just but big the bone the bone does not go from here to here. That's so dramatic, but oh my god, that's so dramatic. I went to China for a while and I didn't see no rice. Like they were eating like leafy, they were drinking a lot of American Chinese and a lot of like fish. Yeah, America, that and that's America has processed. We have a processing issue. We process everything. If you go across the pond, like they eat everything fresh, and and they make sure they ride their bikes, and that's what like in Europe, like they they don't drive, like it's too crowded, like. They ride their bikes, they get their exercise. So you have Africa, to put that. Okay, it's fine. But Go even ahead. going back to Africa, I feel like even with the body type, if you are big, that means you are living good. Right. You're healthy. Yeah. You are um, you rich. Well, That's, That's the African thing. Thinking, so though. even back home, the skinny people, the, yeah, the skinny people yeah. are, are body shame too. Like, oh, you're too skinny. You, yes. you come from a That's poor true. family. Yes. Yes. You That's know, true. your husband is broke. What's what that? And then that's why everybody in Africa is trying to get thin. We're beginning to understand now that health comes first. Right. You know, it's not here. Even in America, yeah. Well, I mean, in Africa too, the movement is already getting there. Where? Yeah, people are going to the gym back home. I, I didn't used to go to the gym back no. home. <laughs> what? Yeah, but people, yeah, there are gyms now, you know, back home that yeah. people are actually going. People are being more cautious with what they eat, you know, more no, organic food. I think it's food, more so more trend. I think it's trend. Yeah, no, so people think... are getting more educated mm. about their it's health. It's gone both ways. I think, also think that people the positivity moment That's has gone the game. opposite route with Instagram because I see a lot more people in the gym. I in see this, a lot more people hospital, eating. Yeah, surgery. a lot more people. <laughs> Well, that's a whole other story. Exactly. But I mean, if you, I mean, th there's a lot more proteins and supplements. However, there's still that that I want to look healthier, whether mm -hmm. it's real or fake. It's still a, a process that you see a lot more people in the gym mm -hmm. before exactly. you know before mm -hmm. people were just eating McDonald's and not really caring. Now it's like, okay, I'm gonna get up and go to the gym, mm -hmm. even if I'm just walking on a treadmill and, and taking Instagram. And why are they Instagram. doing that? Because social media is telling them to. Yeah, no, that's what, what I'm saying. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. At least thing. it is. It no, is. Yeah, it is yeah, yeah. pushing yeah. them to be better. People understand it. People, people, people that, understand it. That doesn't have anything to do with body in a healthy way. That doesn't have anything to do with the movement. That has to do with peer pressure. That doesn't have anything to do with the movement. We can all agree that health is important, and no matter which way you choose your wellness journey, as long as you're healthy and love yourself and you know put yourself first I think we can all agree that's the best thing yep. yeah. Milan and I were raised in the same culture and even with that, what he says is still not okay. He cannot help but to say fat. Like he refuses to say plus size, a little bigger. I don't think it's okay to constantly call somebody fat, but I, he, he got big aunts too. We both do.